Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In Jewish law and Jewish thought, there's a concept called Lashon Hara. It literally means evil speech. And so what that means is that when you speak negatively against somebody, that's not something that is allowed in Jewish law and conceptually uh, in Jewish thought as well. There's certain things that we'll discuss in a few moments. So I came across this clip of Ivanka Trump going through... Uh, different uh, slurs and, and things that have come against her. And she brings up the concept of Lashon Hara and says that it's something that's empowering for her and talks about how she relates it in her with her family and bringing up her kids and so forth. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say in the comments is, oh, she, she needs to talk to her father and I don't like her father and all these different things. Be that as it may, whatever you think of her father, that's, that's fine. Keep it to yourself. Listen to what she says regarding uh, her relationship, her understanding, and her implementation of the Jewish concept of Lashon Hara. She, did, she is a convert to Judaism, by the way, and so her, her taking in this spiritual message is something I think that resonates even more. Uh, ever since 2016, the, the number and the level of attacks you've been under has been steadily increasing, has been super intense. How do you walk through the fire of that? You've been very stoic about the whole thing. I don't think I've ever seen you respond to an attack. You just let it pass over you, you stay positive and you focus on solving problems and you didn't engage. <laughs> While being in DC, you didn't engage into the back and forth fire of the politics. So what's your philosophy behind that? I appreciate your saying that I was very stoic about it. I think. You know, I feel things pretty deeply. So initially, some of that really took me off guard. Like some of the derivative love <laughs> and hatred, um, some of the intensity of of, of the attacks. Um, and there were times when it was it was so easy to counter it. I'd even write something out and and say, "Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna press send," and never did. I, I felt that sort of getting into the mud, fighting back, it didn't run true to who I am as a human being. Like it didn't, it felt at odds with, with who I am and how I want to spend my time. So I think as a result, I was oftentimes on the receiving end of a lot of, a lot of cheap shots. And I'm okay with that because it's sort of the way I know how to be in the world. I was focused on things I thought mattered more and, you know, I, I think part of me also internalized, there's a concept in Judaism called Lashon Hara, which is translated into, I think, quite literally evil speech. And the idea that, you know, speaking poorly of another is almost the moral equivalent to murder because you can't really repair it. You can apologize, but you can't repair it. Another component of that is that it does as much damage to the person saying the words um, than it does to the person receiving them. And I think about that a lot. I talk about this concept with, with my kids a lot. Um, and I'm not willing to pay the price of that fleeting and momentary satisfaction of, of sort of swinging back because I think it would be it would be too expensive for my soul, and and that's how I kind of made peace with it. Because I think that's just that feels more true for me. Good for her. That's that's a beautiful thing. Uh, in in Jewish tradition, there's a very interesting spiritual idea that's brought out from the concept of lashon hara. So it says that lashon hara hurts three people. Number one, the person that said it. Number two, the person who it was uh, who listened to it. And number three, the person who it's being said about. Right. So when you say something bad, so I understand the person. It's it hurts the person that said it because. You're not allowed to say those types of things. And I understand the person that listened to it because you're not supposed to listen to that kind of thing. But why does it hurt the person that it was said about? What if they never find out about it?
And so interestingly enough, in our tradition, we are taught that even if the person who the Lashon Hara is being said about, just by speaking negatively about somebody, you bring them down on a soul level, and something in the ether is affected that that person is brought down. And so we have to be very careful about the way that we talk about things. Uh, in Judaism, we're careful about the way that we refer to animals or inanimate objects. We, we care about the honor of all and everything in creation. And so it's interesting that our tradition does highlight that when a person speaks negatively about another person, you lower them down. But the same thing can be said in the other in the other extreme. If a person wants to help elevate somebody and bring them up spiritually, start speaking positive words over them. Even if they never hear them, even if it doesn't, doesn't hit them consciously, it's something that helps them on along in their journey. And so um, we'll hold with that for today. Just thought it was a, a nice, interesting little clip that came across. Uh, love to hear what you have to say. And if you enjoy this content overall, I'd highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button below and would love to stay in touch. Have a wonderful day, everybody.